really wanted to um, just take a moment um, to acknowledge the tragic death of uh, the 10 year old child um, who um, was, was killed in Ward 7. Um, uh, it's very tragic. Um, uh, preliminary investigations basically are indicating that it was an accident uh, where a gun went off in the house and now a 10 year old is no longer with us. Um, this comes right in the fire on the heels of uh, next week where Ohio will be a free for all for everyone. Not being required to have any gun training, but you can have possession of a gun. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I would love to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Raka Kodash. A double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. Blessings and safety to the men, women, and children that believe on the name Yahabah Shimei Awasha in truth and sincerity. To you, I say Shalom. All right. And um, this article reads, woman handling firearm accidentally kills 10-year-old nephew. It says, an Ohio woman has been arrested after her nephew was shot in the head, according to his family and local police. The, the, the Cleveland Police Department said a 10-year-old boy was shot inside bear room at his home on East 77th Street. In Cleveland, St. Clair Superior neighborhood, the shooting occurred just after midnight on Monday, June the 6th. William's aunt had been handling a firearm when it discharged with the bullet traveling through the ceiling. Local news station WOIO reported police told the network that the bullet went through the bedroom floor, ricocheted off a mirror, and struck the boy in the head. Okay, now... I'm going to title this lesson, okay, was this truly accidental, okay? Now, when you go into that word accidental, it says happening by chance unintentionally, okay? No, this didn't happen accidentally, man, okay? And we know that, hey, man, the Lord, you know, judges you for the things that, you know, you do in this present life, and he also can judge you for the things that you have done in your past life, man. And I want to open up with a quick precept. This is 2nd Ezra 14 and 35. It says, For death shall the judge, it says, For after death shall the judgment come when we shall live again. Okay. After death shall the judgment come when we shall live again, man. So when you die, okay, you go, you go to the spirit world, okay. And after I believe three to four generations, the Lord sends you back down, okay. Through that, uh, uh, the whole birth cycle again, man. Okay. And throughout your life, he sets up judgment for you for what you've done in your uh, previous life, man. Okay. But it says, I'm going to read it back. Second Ezra is 14 and 35. For after death shall the judgment come when we shall live again. And then shall the names of the righteous be, be manifest and the works of the ungodly shall be declared, man. So, you know, after death, man, you know, you, you come back to uh, be judged, man, for the things that you have done in your uh, previous life, man. Okay, the scriptures say, uh, I believe, Ecclesiastics, the third chapter. Uh, it says, uh, I seen under the sun the place of judgment. Okay, because judgment takes place on the planet Earth, man. Okay, but let's go to the uh, Proverbs. Okay. So this wasn't an accidental death, man. Okay, this is this this wasn't a, a accidental death. All right, the scriptures say what, man? Proverbs twenty eight and five. A, a evil man understandeth not judgment, but he that seek of the Lord understandeth all things, man. We know that the Lord makes no mistakes, man. Okay, you know, oh, why would God kill you know a, a, a ten year old, man? Okay, he did it in righteousness. Okay, but first and foremost, I always got to go to this precept, you know, dealing with niggas, man, because they don't understand or seem to comprehend that, you know, Yahabah Shimei Shah does the killing, man. Okay, 
This is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand, man. Okay, so that 10 year old that was struck, man. Okay, he was ultimately judged by the Lord, man. Okay, the Lord stands alone. The Lord decides who he's going to judge, okay, unto death or who he's going to judge and have mercy upon, man. Okay, read this back. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See that now I, that I am he and there is no God with me. I kill and make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand, man. Okay, and ultimately the Lord kills because of what? Sin, man. The scriptures say that the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. Okay. And the Lord can wait a whole nother lifetime to get you. Okay. Oh, he was just a kid. You know, he was four. He was 10. He was 12. You know, why? You know, he was an innocent little boy. Okay. Let's see what the scriptures say, man. This is. Job chapter four and seven. Remember, I prayed thee, whoever perished being innocent, man. And that's a rhetorical question because we all have sin, man. We all are worthy of death, man. Even the little children that you see, man, because hey, they have a, a sin to pay for for what they did in their past life, man. Job four and seven. Remember, I prayed thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off, man? So no one has ever perished being innocent, man. No one. No one, man. Okay, because, hey, man, that would mean that the Lord committed iniquity, man. If someone uh, was to uh, perish or die, man, and, and, and they were innocent, man, that would mean that the Lord committed iniquity. Okay, we all know that Yahweh Shai, he paid for uh, uh, his sins as well, man. Okay, uh, let alone ours. Okay. See, people don't understand the precepts in the scriptures. That's why the scriptures say again, evil man understandeth not judgment, but he that seek of the Lord understandeth all things, man. And one thing that we understand is the way judgment uh, happens and why. You know, let's go to the book of Zephaniah. All right, this is the book of Zephaniah. Chapter 3, verse 5, it says, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He would not do iniquity, man. So the Lord doesn't do iniquity, man. The Lord doesn't commit sin, man. The Lord doesn't break his own laws, man. The just Lord, the righteous Lord, everything that the Lord does is in righteousness, okay? Zephaniah 3 and 5, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He would not do iniquity. Every morning do if he bring his judgment to light and he fell of not, okay? So the Lord is not going to, uh, the Lord is not going to uh, uh, judge a person accidentally, man. You know, two dudes shooting a gun and uh, uh, someone else gets struck. Okay, the Lord ain't going to say in the spirit where, oh, man, I tried to hit this person. Oh, man, I made a mistake and hit that person. No, man, the Lord doesn't error in judgment, man. There's no error in the Lord's judgment, man. Okay, that child was uh, 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 met to be struck by that bullet and, and, and go to the spirit world. That was that child's judgment, man. Okay, Zephaniah 3 and 5, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He would not do iniquity. Every morning do if he bring his judgment to light and he fell of not, but the unjust know of no shame, man. Okay, the unjust, man, you wicked niggas. Okay, you don't feel any guilt or remorse for your wickedness, man. And this is why the Lord is going to constantly continue to judge you uh, 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 people out there, man, of so-called Negro and Indian descent, man. Okay, you know, you got Jake out here living in wickedness, man. Okay. Okay. And, and, and thinks that uh everything is all good, man. That this is, you know, the Lord, the Lord, uh, he, he's gonna just uh uh have mercy automatically. You don't have to do no repenting. Okay, you could just live in wickedness and you good, okay, until you get 80 years old and, and, and pass away, man. No, man. The scriptures say because a sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, man. Like I said, the Lord can wait a whole lifetime to get you. The Lord can say, you know what? I'm going to send you back down and I'm going to get you when you're three, man. You're going to fall out of a moving car and, and die, man. You know, you got niggas. Why, God? Why? Seek the Lord and you will understand 
uh, how judgment, uh, 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 how judgment works. Okay. God is all love, man. You know. Oh, you know. But yes, because the sentence against an evil work is not executed expediently. Therefore, the hearts of the sons of man is fully set in them to do evil, man. You know, they think that the Lord, you know, has been letting them uh, live in wickedness for 20 to 30, 40 years, man. And, you know, when they get old and, you know, they, 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 they can't really move around or, you know, when they get 80 or 70 years old, man, and they can't move around no more. They think that, you know, all that wickedness that they have done uh, 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 is not going to be uh, uh uh, uh, charge to them, man, you know, you know, but that's not the case, man, you know, the Lord will get you when you're 70 years old for something you did when you was 20, okay, there's no time limit on judgment, man, hope this was edifying, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shimei, Shah, Baha, Shem, Rekha, Kodash, Ewa, Ababa, Shalom,